First look at the official build of Awaken OS version 2.0 based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the official build of Awaken OS version 2.0 based on Android 12 running on the Poco F1. The security patch, as you can see, is from October 2021. The kernel they're using is Silver Core. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box, and this is how the ROM comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher, which means you do have Select working without any issues and the same applies for screenshot as well next up let us have a look at the power menu so this is how the power menu looks like the volume panel bam here it is this is how the volume panel looks like your quick setting tiles here are the quick setting tiles on your screen right now you do have a quick setting tile for dark theme and in case you want to add more quick setting tiles you do have the option for that as well and the animations of android 12 are of course super smooth and super dope let us enable dark theme have a look at the ui with dark theme enabled so here it is material you does kick in once you enable dark theme so material you of course is working now another important thing let us go ahead and change the wallpaper so let us go into wallpapers and style so for starters you can of course theme your icons based on the theme which you are currently using or to be more specific based on the color palette of the wallpaper then a toggle for dark theme available here as well you can switch between the different color palettes or the paint chips or the paint tiles or if you want your basic colors those options are also there you can of course change your application grid as well then once you tap on change wallpaper here are the different options you do have a few live wallpapers baked in and let us try to switch over to some other wallpaper so that we can see material you in action let us use this one and pretty soon there it is green color in the building material you has kicked in apply on the home and lock screen and let us have a look at the power menu that is how the power menu looks like this is your volume panel with the new color palette and this is your quick settings panel with the new color palette and of course the icons have also adapted to material you next up let us have a look at the widgets which are available so once you enable the first easter egg you are going to get another easter egg of the widget and if you bring this to your home screen here are all the colors which are available in this specific theme and if you tap on any of them you should be able to share them using the quick share menu available in android then let us also have a look at the other widgets which are available and i think specifically we are looking for the clock widget so you do have clock 7.1 enabled out of the box this is the one wherein you get multiple options for clock faces when you use the analog clock and when you use the digital clock you do have the option of setting a transparent clock in case you want to and you also have a stopwatch which is available in case you want to use the stopwatch so bam here it is stopwatch is available and working without any issues let us have a look at the phone app yes switched over to material you messages also switched over to material you of course make sure you have updated your applications from the play store here it is clock has also adapted to material you so again make sure you have updated your applications from the play store for material you to work with with different google applications next up let us jump over to the settings so this is how the settings are going to look like now do note you do have three finger screenshot in this rom and with android 12 you also get the option of capture more you can move around your content which you want to capture using the nubs and when you scroll vertically you do get the option of your zoom bar and you also have the option of moving it horizontally as well once you are satisfied with whatever you want to capture tap on save and you should be good to go working like a boss without any issues then let us head over to the apps section here and let us go into see all apps go into any application which requires the permission for location let us use the phone app go into permissions here and let us go into location so you do have four different options for your location then you also have a toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time other than that the default app of course we are using the g apps build so you do have pixel launcher baked into the rom out of the box and you also have your screen on time working without any 
issues moving over to notifications you do have per app notification control along with notification history once you have enabled this priority conversations and bubbles are also there do note that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now then moving over to battery unfortunately no battery percentage toggle but you do have thermal profiles which can be configured on a per app basis battery usage is going to show you the graph and it seems to be working without any issues haven't noticed any unnecessary battery drain either with respect to battery saver you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver wherein you can also configure your essential apps and when do you want to use it for the normal battery saver also you can set a schedule based on your routine or based on the percentage and you also have a toggle to turn off battery saver when the phone is charged to 90 percent do note all of these things are adhering to material you then with battery manager you do have the adaptive battery feature working without any issues next up we have sound so in sound you do have the different sliders on your screen right now you do have live caption adaptive sound is also there and with live caption something which i noticed is that you do have the option of live captioning your calls so you have three different options ask every time always or off as for now playing do not enable this otherwise you are going to get lag in your media content then you also have toggles for the different options which you see on your screen right now and direct sound enhancer is also baked into the rom next up we have display so in display you do of course have your brightness level again everything is material you themed along with adaptive brightness then if you go into lock screen you can of course add text on the lock screen then you also have the option of waking the screen for new notifications go into advanced this is wherein you have your ambient display and you can configure your pickup hand wave and pocket mode next up you have screen timeout now here in you do have a toggle for screen attention so if you're looking at the screen the screen will not turn off then you have a toggle for dark theme and of course you can configure your dark theme based on your schedule or you can also use sunset to sunrise or a specific time now sunset to sunrise is going to access your location then you can change the font size the display size can also be configured and similarly you can configure your night light the options here are similar to dark theme and with night light you can also control the intensity using the slider then you and before i forget if you go into colors option in display you can change the rgb strength as well so those of you who have some um, screen tint issues can use this option either then you have auto rotate screen along with face detection double tap to wake is there let us check it out bam here it is double tap to wake working without any issues most of the options in wallpapers and style have been covered but something you might notice is the animation is different when i access wallpapers and style it is a bit bouncy and you can see the wallpaper in the background as well but that is not the case with any other option next up we have security so unfortunately no face unlock for now do note android 12 was just released to aosp a few days back but you do have the fingerprint working without any issues with respect to privacy with android 12 you do get a privacy dashboard so here and you can see whatever applications have accessed the camera the microphone and location as well then you have toggles for camera access microphone access show passwords and show clipboard access so what are these camera access and microphone access let us say i open the camera application and here and if i try to record a video now once i start the video recording and check out my notification shade or my status bar you will notice that i have this notification here telling me that the camera is in use right now so that is what those toggles are about and of course you do have quick setting toggles for these two options as well in case you want to enable or disable them from your quick settings and before you ask me hey Manchi, why is this search bar in my app rod black it is a known issue and it is a bug and while we are talking about the search bar now with android 12 you do get system wide search so you can configure the search using these toggles but do note for right now this is broken in this specific build as you can see i'm searching for my name and the contact is not showing up but super important thing to note over here is that the keyboard which is your gboard has adapted to material you next up we can head over to the next option in settings which is the option of 
system so here in go into gestures you can of course quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation you do have three different options for your navigation so you have full screen gestures here and you can of course configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge and you also have a toggle of swipe to invoke assistant then if you want to use android 9.0 pi 2 button navigation that option is there along with the old school 3 button navigation one handed mode is there works without any issues and in case you do not want to use this gesture for one handed mode you can also create a shortcut by using the accessibility button or by holding the volume keys whatever floats your boat next up you do have press and hold the power button for assistant and yes three finger screenshot is there and it works without any issues then you also have the option of prevent ringing by pressing power and volume up together and whatever option you choose over here whether you want to put the phone into vibrate or mute that is going to work as long as the master toggle here is enabled next up while we are on the home screen let us check if at a glance is working or not so as you can see the toggles right now are there but you do not get any options now do note this is a bug and it will be fixed if and when android 12 is rolled out to the pixels in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos you either get original quality which is going to count against your storage or you get storage saver then let us also check if the feature of portrait light is working or not so let me try to edit a picture of my favorite football star over here let us try to wait for the loading bar to finish and once this is done you can go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building working without any issues material you has applied to google photos as well super important thing to note over here is that portrait light is going to work only for human objects it will not work for my chicken friend over here next up let us check if safety net is passing or not so as you can see safety net is passing out of the box the device is not rooted i have only installed the magisk app to check for safety net then we can also go ahead and check in the google play store if the device is certified or not so let us go into about here it is play protect certification device is certified which means your banking apps are going to work without any issues then with respect to the assistant lady she is there but she does not work with the screen turned off next up let us have a look at the app opening animations so here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see no jitters and no lags with respect to the app opening animations recent bam here it is with android 12 you can now share the link and the picture right from your recents and the recents are also pretty smooth the clear all button as always with aosp is on the left hand side you have to scroll all the way it is what it is then we can also have a look at our google feed to see if there are any lags or any jitters in the google feed nope everything is super fast super smooth transition from google feed to your home screen is also pretty smooth switch between a few applications here it is no jitters no lags everything is fast and super smooth something which is expected of aosp roms and specifically awaken os so what is the final take on awaken os version 2.0 official build well all in all another great build another great rom available for the poco f1 and awaken os has been pretty reliable with android 11 and i'm pretty sure they are going to continue that with android 12 as well and of course features are going to be added down the line as and when new builds are available and there it is peeps that was our first look at the official build of awaken os based on android 12 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you